Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. We're almost done with this series, and then we can move on to finishing some other stuff. But for now, I want to get something for free from the. Yeah, I want to get one of these for free. So I wanted some of this stuff. Like, I kind of want this scope or these plated vests, but I don't want to spend the intel on that right now. What are we about to do? This is almost done. I, I think that might be the last mission too for the uh, progeny at this point because we're getting pretty late and it says 61 days or something like that. A lift grenade, a talon rounds. I think I kind of want those. I think talon rounds increase the critical damage or the critical hit chance. So I do want to get that. I do have a free field team that I can put down too. Anywhere I put them, it's going to be about the same price. Uh, I think the technology wants to bring in Illyrium. Yeah, might want to start getting more of that since some of our stuff is going to start costing a little bit more to get to. Like the assemblies are going to start costing more. I don't think I need to do the improved training, although I might because I have all these scars that I need to clear also and still haven't done. But whatever we do, we're gonna start putting someone in. We're gonna start putting the two people in the assembly. That way, we can uh get the, that stuff done faster. Cause she's not really doing much except for getting extra. Uh. Extra resources. So who's is anyone idle right now? Is the only question. No. So then. I do need to pour down this district's unrest. And I can't freeze anything. If I do this, it's going to bring it down by two. So yeah, we can bring this down the rest of the way right now. And now we're back to the beginning. I think of my personal playthrough to do it in the other order that I was talking about. Excuse me. My, um, damn, I don't, I don't even think I heard the burp. Uh, anyways, I got to a point where the anarchy was at like six or seven. And that's a rush and bring it back down real quick. Ahead. Check your fire. Because I wasn't picking. I was wasn't picking paying attention to the unrest. I was just trying to play through the story. In this turn, jumps forward to directly follow the previous agent's turn. If that's how it's gonna go, then I'm gonna go to put him at four because it sounds like his turn is gonna jump up no matter what. Uh, all units entering here get plus twenty five defense for the round. Dodge, I'll give that to, uh, yep. Yeah. And then more defense, all right. Breach, breach. I think Claymore has the least defense, uh, not defense, but uh, dodge, just because of how slow he moves. I feel like dodge and mobility should be related in some way. They probably aren't, and they might be two different things, but I maintain my point. We got a lot of easy shots here now. So that's getting pretty good. Between our team being becoming more experienced and the weapons having more attachments, stuff should be hitting more often or doing what we want more often. Okay. Well, since I'm pretty sure I'm not going to hit him, I'm going to save my dead eye. Actually, dead eye has to go first. So. We'll do this one first. Got him. Keep it up. And then we can do lightning hand second since it won't cost an action. And from here, I don't know what else we can see or what our chances of hitting are. Is anything lined up? It looks like two and seven are. So. I might be able to get something to hit both of them or if not two and seven, maybe two and four. There it is. Just took a second to line up. Still got it. Double time. What is this? A necromancer, I think. So yeah, the spectra zombies. I know I was in the middle of saying something too, which is there. Oh, I knew they were just going to use reanimate or something like that. The necromancer. So I didn't think it was going to be that bad. 
it seems like it's always their first turn so if you manage to take them out before they get a second turn they usually aren't too bad i should actually go for the number two with this but first time i want to relocate in there this will push the number six down in the turn order and then the soul fire is going to push the number two down in the turn which will allow someone else to do something about these two instead of it having to be uh all claymore it just gives us time to have our team do something and this is where claymore is standing This is gonna go off before their turn. So it's okay to put that. Just have to remember not to move blue blood in that direction. I feel like I should throw this. Can I see number three with the sticky bomb? I can. I don't know where number three would move to though. It's the only thing. So I don't want it to move to, want him to move towards shelter and then he take damage because of that. Can I get like a backspin on this grenade around this corner? Grenade out. I don't think I well never mind. I was gonna say I didn't have the backspin, but he just threw it through the brick wall. So they're probably gonna die on their turn from the rupture and the acid burn. And now let's not drop it here to where it kills the necromancer. Throwing shrapnel. And that should kill them too when it blows up. Oh, so that's here. those two taken care of once it gets to that turn though. So I only have to really worry about the number three when it gets to Axiom's turn. And I always want to use adrenal search the from the beginning just to psych all the way up. So he has the higher the chance edge. of dealing the uh, effects. Up. And if we go through the door without him uh, losing up. his rage, Ready for then it'll make him uh, more likely to panic Fire at a door. Up. I can't reach him, but I can reach him. It looks like it's about the same distance. Whatever. Popping over. We'll still get there. I have to stop and use them to get closer to the bruiser. And then now I can use running gun. Coming for you. See it here. And I should be able to take a shot on the number two person now. Still with a very low chance to hit, but it's better than nothing. Or at least what I had before. Hostile and we managed to hit it, which again is still Call stunning me since that 99 miss. That goes off for no reason and you can just really step around the corner and shoot yeah that's all I'll he had to it. do if he missed that shot it was gonna be a real problem he's supposed to be the the guy the one with the aim on the team and he keeps missing these shots Although I can't remember who actually missed the shot. I think it was him is why I'm talking about it so much. We want Axiom to lead through this door. Get a hollow scanner here. No do blue blood and claymore last. Keep behind me. Throwing grenades. It's an archon in here. It is. Gotta deal with that. First, we gotta deal with the hostile unit. But I wanna deal with this dude. Just said his name and then forgot what it was. An Archon, yeah. I wanna get deal with it though, because that's that AoE attack. Well, not even AoE really, it just does damage to all the team if you don't move them. We might not be able to take that brood out if we do both of our shots at them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would have killed if bo even both of them rolled pretty high and he missed anyway. So it made more sense to take out the one instead of splitting the damage. And we did get a panic there. So I, I think they lose one turn and they might shoot at their own team also. VIP in sight. Bring that hostage home. And you're the first one in. can run here and use Hello, smash neighbor. we might stun or make knock them unconscious too so we stunned them so they lost their turn 
He rages also. And goes for the fifth dude. And just does damage to them. I didn't think it was going to do a stun or something like that, but it would have been nice if he stunned two Close people. Again. That would have skipped both of their turns. Recycling. Now for shelter. Can he see her? Can you see the lady? Yeah, he can. All right, cool. So I want to use fracture, right? Taking form. When I put this fracture down, it immediately gets its turn. So I can relocate with the lady that we need to save or the person, the hostage, I'll say. Right. So now the hostage is secured. It doesn't matter what happens to that thing. Hostage is right next to the escape exit. I don't know how I said that wrong and everybody else is so we can start moving people out now and we actually just secured the hostage so I think that was a pretty good move so I think shelter is one of those ones well at least for the way that I've been playing him he's one of the ones I had to wait for also it took me a while to realize how I could use relocate for better so long story short shelter is pretty cool if I started seeing shelters going on the team from the beginning Because now, who is this? Anyways, what can you see in here? Oh, wait, no. I thought that was uh, Blue Blood's turn. Blue, Blue Blood is next anyway, so I don't have to do anything there. I don't want to give this to Axiom, though, because he has a lot of people before him, and he's way out in the open. Oh, I can't see. Can I not see him? I can only use Team Up on him to give him an extra move. I uh, don't want to do that. So I'll go for the people right before him. Yeah. This way it shouldn't be as bad the damage that he's about to take. I feel like he's going to take a lot of damage at least. First we can use dead eye. On them. I want to use it on them, right? Misses. So that's doesn't matter then i'm gonna use face off because i think you can see everybody in the room so it's gonna spread a lot of damage around Head's not in the game. yeah Got a lot of shots less danger for us i think he hit out all, all but one person or all but two so that's not bad miss damn i felt that one no you didn't you're still up that was like a pat on the back Weapon disabled there, but that's not bad because he doesn't use a weapon. He only has the psionics. All right. I'm going to start moving people back too. I should have moved him on his turn also. Now we're on Claymore. Drop this bomb on them. It's the three and the four right here also. But this bomb is going to go off after the three. But we did rupture him. Or it now. I actually don't know what an archon Throwing is. Grenade. So you rush it, rupture them. I don't know how they label archons. It makes it seem like they're robotic human. Or not robotic, but like robotic and living. I said I was going to move him. But he can't get out now. So I'm going to keep him where he is. I think he has a better cover right here than he would anywhere else. You can go ahead and take out the necromancer. Or at least use it as a suicide bomber, kind of. Or it can get closer to us, but he usually doesn't do that. Either way, we did take two out. We'll see if the Archon comes back on. It looks like it didn't, or at least not before Axiom. Got his turn. We can use Psych up again. Ready for action. I'm going to move here, though, because we are still trying to escape. I don't need to be here anymore. You can fire your weapon. Didn't even see them right there. This is a terrible, terrible angle for them. I'll go for the uh for the archon though. Cool. Target killed. Now Axiom can leave. They might die of the acid burn on their turn. Yeah, they were. That's why I didn't go for them. It's still panicked. Uh, he didn't die from the acid burn, but it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't know if I... It, I don't know 
if the uh, the fracture unit here is going to disappear when I take shelter out. I was going to say that in the wrong order or something. Something about what I was going to say was wrong. Like, okay, I should have threw the most I want to do first. You should just use team up on Claymore. And then we'll be able to get everybody out right now. And you can evac. This is the first time that I'm leaving a mission without killing everybody first, or at least get into a point where I can just kill everybody. Uh, it's just a mess. Oh damn! If we could see the number five, we'll just move, we'll just teleport with them just to mess with them even more. They're already panicked, and now he's getting moved around the map by some psionic force, which doesn't make sense. I think the psionics is just a cover to say magic, because there's no there's no way that you can use your mental powers to change locations with the person without it being in some way magic you can dash to get out but i think blue blood should be able to make this dash also he's pretty mobile i'm out oh oh he can okay cool just barely but he can stepping out and yeah it makes sense that he's out of ammo because he shot Move, everybody but this person in the room and he missed somebody else so all but two people got shot in the room yeah only lightly wounded that was a pretty good mission for what it was kind of proud of myself how i played that last one because instead of just shooting stuff i actually stopped and followed the objective first so i could have stayed and tried to kill everybody which i tend to start doing um but that just wouldn't that wouldn't have been worth it because I probably would have took a lot more damage and had to deal with the scars and all that. Those damn trains, day and night, have been random. We never knew if anything was going in or coming out because entering Switchyard without permission was a capital offense. It took the end of the war for us to finally see it for what it was. Just warehouses, cargo yards, and train tracks. Instead of Burns Town, a local guide to City 31. Progeny plans to capture and deploy Archons as captive warriors. Archons under Progeny control could cause untold damage to the city. Keep the Progeny away from them. Now, I can't remember what the origin of Archons were. I haven't played the first XCOM game, and I hope it's explained in the first of, like, the modern XCOM games. Because there are old ones that came out in, like, the 90s or something like that. And, oh, he's fully upgraded now, so he has Quake. But those ones are also considered to be XCOM, but they're under a different name. And they're not the strategy sh shooter type, I think, from what I read. Because I went back and read how many I would need to play to catch up to this one. I just started with the more recent ones. But anyways, Axiom has Quake. He, and Axiom leads up and, and leads up and slams the ground, destroying nearby cover and damaging nearby units. One use permission. It's like a Hulk smash, basically. And they're talking about these these hot dog things again so now we have recon abandoned clinic i have nothing else i can really do besides this mission or the situation right now we're doing relatively okay for the uh unrest in the area and all that so i think uh it's gonna be all for this episode and then i'm gonna play this mission so yeah that's all gonna be all for this one thanks for watching this video is a little shorter than the rest of them Excuse me. Uh, don't forget to follow my other socials in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.